Quetzaltenango, Guatemala, also known locally as Shela, is Guatemala's second largest city and home to 150,000 residents. Known for its vibrant music and art culture, Shela is a popular tourist destination and home to numerous Spanish language schools. As a large city, Shela has a municipal water system that pipes water to virtually all city residents. The water is reasonably priced and convenient. Like you or I, they just turn on the tap. The only problem is residents of Shela dare not drink the water. Like many cities across Latin America, the municipal water supply is not trusted as a source of clean water. Residents say the water contains disease-causing bacteria due to poor system maintenance and lack of chlorination. For its part, the water utility claims the water is safe, but with no real safeguards or public inspection process, few are willing to gamble with their health. The result is a booming bottled water industry, not just in Guatemala, but all across Latin America. Bottled water in Guatemala is not cheap. At $2 for each 5-gallon jug, families can easily spend as much as $300 per year, which for Guatemala's poorest can amount to one whole month's income. Imagine if your family had to spend a month's income each year just on clean water. Now imagine if you could dramatically cut the annual spend on bottled water by leveraging a free source of clean water that is naturally abundant, rainwater. Since our foundation in 2009, Rain Saucers has maintained that by simplifying rainwater harvesting with a low-cost product targeted directly at end users, we could alleviate a wide variety of water problems, including lack of access to clean water. So in the summer of 2011, we went to Guatemala to test our assertion with a field trial. Nine families in Shela were selected and given our standard 4-foot diameter rain saucer implemented on a 4-gallon bucket. An additional bucket was provided so that with each rain event, fresh water could be immediately brought inside the house for consumption, while another bucket could still be outside collecting. The first question we needed to answer was whether Guatemalans would actually drink rainwater as a substitute for buying bottled water. On this point, there was near unanimous consent. All but one participant was willing to drink rainwater on a regular basis. Some participants even said it tasted better than bottled water. Take the case of Elda Leon, who lives with her two children and parents. Mrs. Leon told us that the collected rainwater was clearer and actually tasted better than bottled water. Mrs. Leon, who cleans houses for a living, found that with regular cleaning, very little dust winds up in the bucket, and what does remain stays on the bottom without coming out the spigot. The next critical question we needed to ask was whether our participants thought there was value investing in a rainwater harvesting system, given it would only work during the six months of the rainy season. To our delight, we found participants quickly thinking in terms of return on investment. Most participants understood that by harvesting free rainwater, they were buying less bottled water, so they could really see the savings. For example, Maria Sum, who makes and sells tortillas for a living, reported reducing her purchase of bottled water from two jugs per week down to one. Mrs. Sum, who lives with her children and grandchildren, told us that maintenance was easy and that the cost savings clearly justified buying one. The final key question we asked was whether participants thought a rain saucer system was the right product for the market and something that they would buy. And on this front, we passed the test. Over half of trial participants said they would buy one, with several expressing genuine excitement over the technology. One such fan was Coney Guerra, whose husband Carlos is a concrete mason. Mrs. Guerra told us that her children now look forward to drinking their rainwater each night before going to bed. They all love the taste and are proud of having what they see as a cool looking sustainable technology in their home. Although we believe this field trial convincingly shows the potential of rain saucers as a commercial product in developing countries, we need local distribution partners to make this a reality. In Guatemala, we are already talking with a few potential partners. But if you're watching this video and you think your country also deserves our attention, please contact us. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.